Maybe you're thinking, boy, we're two weeks into March here. I don't really want to be talking about that S word snow. Well, meteorologist Diane Phillips joining us live in studio. Bring us some bright news, Diane. Give me some signs of spring, would you? <laughs> yes, I'm looking out for every sign of spring I can see outside. Ryan, what's your favorite sign you've seen so far? Um, you know, you, last week you talked about it. I, I never got to tell you this, um, but I was outside Sunday morning and there were some of those worms on the sidewalk. Not my favorite sign of spring, but it was a sign of spring. Hey, I was happy that you were able to spot them kind of early out, and I hope <laughs> that they, you know, made it back into your yard safe and sound. I'm sure some of the uh, robins had a little bit of fun with them, though. Hey, you must know what I'm going to be talking about, because another sign of spring <laughs> are robins. And I know uh, some of you have said, hey, I spotted those back in February. Does that mean the early arrival of spring? Well, robins actually stay here year round. They just don't like to leave, but some, you know, may still migrate. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but the reason why we start to see our robins into February and even this time in March is really dependent upon their food. So early in the winter season, the robins, they eat the berries that are deep back in those wooded areas. So a lot of times we don't end up seeing them because they're so far back and just really not visible to where we're hanging out. Now the food source, it will become depleted, which is typical and traditional for the winter season, especially with those who did stick around. Well, they're gonna be enjoying uh, still those winter meals, trying to uh, keep up, but then we will have those robins that are searching for food. So they're gonna become a little more visible. You'll see them come further out, and that's why you'll probably notice them on your bushes. They have those berries or those sweet treats that they can have. So we do have those birds that do stick around year round, but, we also have some that will migrate. I'll talk about some of their migration patterns, but also those temperatures when we start to really see them come out, coming up in about a half hour or so. All it was about the food, isn't it, Diane? Of course, <laughs> berries. We maybe like sweet treats. Well, whatever it takes. I'm sure we'll be out and about with food. All right, very interesting because I know we get those calls from viewers many times saying, hey, I heard the robins out. It's January, it's February. So very interesting kind of breaking that down. Looking forward to some more information, Diane. Look at our 10-day forecast. We know we're not the only ones who are uh, not loving this cold weather. Meteorologist Diane Phillips joining us live in studio. Diane, uh, we were just talking about this off screen. There's obviously lots of uh, animals that love to move around this time of the year as well. That's right. I know a lot of folks, especially with spring break coming, they're going to be uh, probably flying south, but <laughs> you may, when you're in the plane, see the birds flying north. There's people looking at that graphic behind you, an arrow from Toledo to Florida saying, I want to be on that airplane. <laughs> right, I do too. And that's kind of where our uh, robins were. I was talking about how some of them stay here all year long, but you'll probably notice that a good majority of them do actually fly south. Now, also, when you do see those robins that are here all winter long, well, those may not actually be the same robin that you saw maybe early into the winter season, because like I said, we do have those that fly from Toledo all the way south. They don't all go to Florida. Sometimes they're just a little bit north of that, but either way, they're gonna be in and where the climate is a little bit warmer. But we do also have friends that live further north, where it's even colder than what we experience here. So those robins will also fly here and then spend their winter here because it's maybe a little bit warmer than what they're used to. So that's why, even though you see that robin, it may not be the exact same one that you've seen. Now, I know a lot of you have said, hey, we're seeing them, spring must be coming. And I think those temperatures are really gonna be warming up, Brian. Do you think uh, spring's on the way in that extended forest? I certainly do think so. You're gonna start seeing those arrows turn around as they start coming home the next couple of weeks yeah. and months. <laughs> yeah, I'll just kind of flip those up and then, uh, I'll, well, I've already noticed the, the birds are back. I can hear them. I haven't really mm -hmm. seen them too much yet. You add that plus the daylight increase and you can just tell uh, that things are starting to turn around for us. Diane, great update there. Thank you so much showing that, yes, you can track the weather and the way things change in many different ways.